welcome back to DVD on Flawless. In today's video, I am going to share the items that I felt have been necessary for me to have in order to use my Cricut makers. Um, I posted a video, I want to say maybe a year now, that I've had my Cricut makers and I love them. I purchased the champagne one first and then I ended up getting the rose gold. Since my video, Cricut has released three other colors and they now have it in lilac, mint, and blue. And I'm a little upset because <laughs> lilac or lavender is my favorite color. Um, mint and green I like because it actually matches two of my working offices so I kind of wish I was able to get them but there's no way I can justify purchasing more Cricut makers <laughs> so um, also since then Cricut has indeed released other blades so this is going to be a 2019 updated version of what I feel you would need if you're just now purchasing any of the Cricut machines. So I'm going to apologize in advance for the glare are your Cricut mats. And they come in four colors and they come in two sizes. So the purple is your strong mat. You're going to use that with any of your basswood uh, projects or any stronger projects that you need to cut. And most of the time it's like wood projects. Um, they now have metal projects that you can use with the Cricut as well. So you may need it for that, but I haven't done any projects like that. The pink mat is the fabric mat, and you're going to use that for any fabric projects. The green is your standard grip mat, and you're going to use that for your thicker papers, I would say. So anything that's like 110 pound weight and up. And then your blue mat is the light grip mat. And that's the mat that I actually use the most. And that's the one that I have at least 10 of, I want to say. And I purchase my mats from Cricut when they are on sale. Outside of that, I always look on Amazon to purchase mine. And I believe they come in sets of three, if I'm not mistaken. When you first purchase your machine, the best thing that I would suggest is purchase your Cricut machine when they have bundle deals. So a bundle deal would include mats. It may include other materials such as vinyl or maybe some fabrics or papers or blades. Um, and in my video, you will see that when I purchased my machine, it did come with other materials. It was a year ago, so I really don't remember that. I'll have to link that video below. But another tip that I would give you all is if you're first purchasing a machine, maybe invest in purchasing Cricut Access, which is the software that you would use, um, which is the program, excuse me, Design Space is the software. Cricut Access is a program that you can use to use some of the SVGs or the fonts that are in the Cricut Design Space software, but they are also, uh, Cricut Access also allows you to automatically have 10% off of any purchases that you make on the Cricut website. That does include machines. It does include sell items as well. The only thing that you can't do with machines and sales is if you find any affiliate links online, they do not work on top of the machine. They don't work on like the machines and a couple other things. But again, you have to double check that. Now, starting off with the blades, you need a premium fine point blade. This is only going to work in the Cricut Makers. The Cricut Explorers have a different blade and it is the fine point blade. It's not the premium fine point blade. There's a difference. So depending on what your machine is, please be mindful of the products that you're purchasing because you do not want to have that issue. Starting with the blades, this is a rotary blade which you will use with your fabrics and that is going to be used with the green mat. It does come in a plastic casing and I'll always keep it in there because it is very sharp and you can cut yourself. Uh, 
This is the premium fine point blade housing. Most of the time this comes with your machine unless you're purchasing like a refurbished one or something like that. But this is the premium fine point blade with the housing. This here is your Cricut knife blade and if you can see it within there, this one again also comes with the uh, cap on it. Okay. Then we have our um, scoring wheels. So you will notice on this one it has a 01 on it. That's because it actually comes with a second portion which has 02 on it. And that just means single or double scoring wheel. Uh, these are for specifically the Cricut makers. I believe... If you have a Cricut Explorer, they have something else. I'm not sure you may or may not be able to use that with the Explorers. But I know for a fact that one of the tool sets with Cricut does come with a, um, this is a scoring pin or yeah, I believe it's called a scoring pin and this is what it looks like. I never use this in my makers because it always prompts me to use my scoring wheels. And then we get into what's called the quick swap housing okay now what the quick quick swap housing means is you can take this little button right here press it and it will release the blade at the bottom and then you can change it this is important for the next couple of blades that i'm about to show you that cricut just recently released and i purchased all of this stuff myself i have not been paid to say any of it i'm just trying to help my fellow viewers who are new to this okie dokie so as of 2019 as of what's this august 2019 cricut released some blades and i believe it was last month so this one right here is the engraving tool and it looks like this okay and i purchased this with the quick swap housing um what you can do is purchase the quick swap housing for the other three that I'm going to show you. Or if you already have one with the uh, rotary blade, uh, the, uh, the scoring wheel, excuse me, then I would say just purchase one more quick swap housing and then you will be good to go. So that was the engraving. This is the debossing tool. Okay. And I'm going to put that on there. Hopefully you can see that. All right. And that is the debossing tool so if you're familiar with embossing then it looks somewhat familiar then we have the preparation tool so i'm going to put this on here and try to get it off try to get the cap off excuse me okay so this is the preparation tool hopefully you can see this um yeah maybe this way so what you'll notice is that this has little slits it cuts something so that you can basically like rip off a ticket that's what a preparation tool is and then the last one that Cricut has released is the wavy blade okay and again all of these are meant for the quick swap housing and the wavy blade i can't do what i just did because it's sharp but if you'll notice it the blade isn't a perfect circle it has a little bit of a wave and you can use that for different uh, projects i made a loaded tag but i already gifted it to someone so i don't physically have it to show you what it looks like but I did share that project on my um, crafting Instagram. And then the last blade, which I believe I have all of the blades that they do have currently available. Um, the last blade is the fabric blade. And this one is what you would use in conjunction with the pink mat. So those are all of the current blades that Cricut currently has and the mats. And I think I'm going to go over some tools. We're currently at pushing 10 minutes, so I might break this up into parts, okay? So, then you have like your Cricut. It's like their standard tool set, I guess you could say. It does come in, I believe, gold, rose, mint, and maybe lilac or lavender. I can't remember 
you can just double check on the website. So it comes with the mini spatula, which I find to be very handy when I'm getting projects off of my mats. It does come with scissors. You just need to determine whether you want to use your scissors for paper or fabric. I use mine specifically just for paper. Um, again, it also came with this scoring pen. The spatula, which you can see mine is well loved. This is going to help you get your projects off of your mat without ruining the sticky adhesive that's on the mat. And then you have this. This is a weeding tool. You're definitely going to need this if you're doing any vinyl or HTV. HTV is heat transfer vinyl. And then vinyl is just regular permanent vinyl that you can put on projects. Heat transfer vinyl you will need with either a Cricut easy press with the easy press mat or an iron i highly recommend the easy press that will be later on in the video or in another part and then the last thing is just these little tweezers to be perfectly honest i never use these because i just get confused because i have to squeeze them and then pick up whatever it is that i'm using so this comes with the kit but i never use it now i would recommend looking into whatever blades that you possibly will need before you get your Cricut machine um, just so that you can start factoring in what your total cost is going to be for your machine and the blades because you do need the blades in order to use your machine. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video right here. Actually, you know what? No. Let me touch on some other little small tools that Cricut has before we move forward. So, in addition to the blades and the mats, I would recommend getting a brayer. This is the Cricut brayer. Um, I have two of these and I love it. I use this one for any time I'm messing with any glitter paper and such. And then I have another that I use for anything that's non glitter. And then there is the extra large scraper. I definitely use this to help smooth down any of my materials on the mats. Um, I use this Cricut scraper also for instance we have a family business and I made the window signs for our business and my husband needed this in order to smooth the vinyl down onto the window. Okay and then we have another um, set of tools from Cricut. Now this is their weeding tool set. So it includes this one, it includes this one, and they all have the little plastic end pieces on it, you'll notice. And I highly recommend getting the weeding tool set due to the simple fact that if you are going to be using, again, heat transfer or vinyl, you're definitely going to need these. So it does come, I believe, in this set of four. This pair looks like a pair of tweezers, but it's definitely a different tip that you'll be able to see. Let me take these off. They all have different tips, and I thought that I didn't need it until I actually got it. And depending on what you're physically weeding, on your mat you i'm at on your project you'll notice sometimes the different tips are helpful so for instance sometimes i use this one this one definitely helps grip things a little bit better and then i technically already have this one because of the original set that i had gotten so this one is just a backup and i would say if there's any tools that you really need and you want to do a backup, get them. Now, you can use regular tweezers to weed. There's also the Cricut light, uh, the light mat. I do have that and I've used it with my weeding. I'll get into that later on in the video. Okay. Now, another thing that I recommend is the quilling tool set from Cricut. Now, if you can find a quilling tool, you do not need the one from Cricut. And if you can see, there's a split in here. This will allow you to use your rolled flower SVGs. I've already showed a tutorial on how to use a rolled flower and I use this tool. So if you're interested in that, you can always search my channel for that. Now, this quilling tool 
came with the piercing tool uh, kit. So it came with this tool right here, which is a paper distressor. So there's four sides of it. And then there's also like this little spatula area, like you can use this to smooth down materials. Um, it came with this tool. This is the piercer for the actual mat. And then the piercing mat, one second, looks like this. So this is the Cricut piercing mat. It has, and mine is very well loved, uh, it has the softer foam side to pierce anything, any of your projects. Maybe you're putting a hole in your project for a specific reason. You can use the piercing tool and the mat, okay? And then it also has the other side, which is hard, and it has some gridding on it. All right, so now I'm going to end this video here. I will highly recommend with a pen and pad of paper, you watch these videos and jot down what piques your interest so that you can refer to the Cricut website and see what you may need based off of the projects that you will be doing. I will see you in part two of this video and have a gorgeous day, dolls. Smooches. Mwah. Bye.